<laughs> What's up everybody? I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been working on this song. Just kind of one of my ones uh, that I'm personally obsessed with and uh, just want to get done. Uh, Morning Lady, Gregory Allen is cough. Um, so as you can see, I have a harmonica here. Um, so the song is in the key of D flat or I guess C sharp. Uh, we'll be calling it D flat. So the capo is at 6th fret and we know this because... <laughs> That G that you make is really a D flat or a C sharp as, you know, we make the bar chord, whatever. Uh, so the harmonica is in the same key as the song at the sixth fret here. Uh, the, really the main progression is kind of this G to D, D minor seven to C. There will be kind of like a D like this, coming from that C, right? Uh, there's so much sounds and music and multiple guitars, banjos, mandolin, and all that good stuff in this song. So it's kind of like really hard to really know what's going on and really what you want to do. But just for like a rhythm part that you'll be playing, um, well, let's kind of go through it um, with the song here. So the intro is just four times, and I'm. Uh, I, I don't think there's a C after that E minor. I think for the intro and a lot of times in the song too, you're kind of hanging on that E minor to wait until he's done playing some licks. Um, we can clearly hear some hammer-ons like, like that stuff. There's like this lick, kind of like that on the G string. But... I guess you could go to that C there in the intro, I'm not truly really sure. The last time through the fourth time, I think he's kind of just hanging on this E minor. And this is like strumming very lightly, maybe hitting this C. And then it goes to the main progression. to C, dark by now, dark by now, he's going to this E minor, and he's strumming very lightly again, I think it kind of goes to like this G6 here, and then you'll see he goes, I saw them grazing, goes up to this D, you can kind of hear it, it goes back to the E minor, to follow a hidden moon, regular D, Stories high, boom, boom, movement here, and I we sit like watchmen. Kind of here for it. There's two D's, right? Because if you go into um, Cordify.net, it tells you he's really playing D, but it's not this D sometimes. You can hear the treble strings, you can hear the high strings when he does the regular D, but if sometimes he's... It's that D. Listen closely, you can hear it. Uh, moving on, kind of like uh, the chorus here. Main progression. Um, after, he kind of goes and hangs on a C chord. There's just so much stuff going on, it's just, you gotta pick your battles. This C right here, kinda hangs on it. Just don't know why. Twice 
And then again on the second time, he's going to hang on that C for like an extra B before getting into the second uh, verse here. Main progression. I'm a little bit kind of tricky part where he says coffee is cold like evening air. Maybe a little bit lower for the harmonica there. So coffee is cold like evening air. And then the high D. Bass can hang on this uh, C chord again. The outro is pretty difficult too. There's doing a lot of this D and then E minor, and for the last D, it's gonna go up from the D to the G like that. So, this C right here hangs on it. Just don't know why. Harmonica kicks in a lot here. Sounds a little bit different because I know, unfortunately, um, there's not much uh, you can buy from a D flat, right? So I got the one that they had was a more bluesy. This is obviously more folky. And here's the uh, outro here. I can never get it right, but definitely it goes from the D to the G. Um, whew. So just a lesson that I had to do, unfortunately. It's a little bit long, but I uh, hope we had some fun doing it.